God saw that it was good, New Discovery reportedly lends credence to the biblical creation story as described in the first book of the Old Testament, Genesis. As one of the scientists who made the discovery noted, there's a certain element of guesswork in their interpretations. An archaeological discovery made in the region of Australia, Pilbara, appears to hint that at least some part of that biblical narrative describing the creation of our world may be correct, according to the Daily Express. According to that paper, scientists have examined the composition of a stretch of rock ages ago, resting at the bottom of the ocean next to a hydrothermal vent. They were trying to determine the makeup of the ancient world by studying the ratio of oxygen-16 to oxygen-18 isotopes that it contained. And it seems that their findings led them to believe that the continents remained submerged underwater during the primeval era, just as is described in the book of Genesis. Quote, when you form a soil, you form clays, and clays hoover up heavy oxygen. And what you can tell from that is how much soil formation was going on. This is what Professor Boswell Wing, University of Colorado Boulder, explained. He said, if there are no clays, that means no soils. And that place soils are typically formed is on continents. That is not underwater, but on the continents. He says the conclusions, if correct, appear to suggest that the Bible may have been correct in some respect, namely the part of the book of Genesis that describes the creation of the world by God. Those scientists postulate that, quote, the world was covered in water until about 3.2 billion years ago, and quote, rather than in three days. But as we have to keep in mind, a day for us, a day for God is could be thousands or billions of years. So as Professor Wing admitted himself, there's an element of guesswork in these interpretations, as the paper points out. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.